Hello, welcome to the Sim Racing Corner. Uh, Mose of Racing sent me their new SRP light pedal accessory kit. There you go, um, that's the instructions for it. And this is for the SRP light pedals. The light pedals are the pedal set that's bundled with the Mose R5 wheelbase. If you haven't watched my uh, Mose R5 wheelbase review, there's a link in the description, check that out, because um, as these pedals are included, I do talk about the pedals in you know decent amount of length and detail, and uh, talk about what they're like to use. And certainly one of the, um, I guess, limitations of this pedal set, it is a, a more basic pedal set. It's, they are made to a good standard, they are all metal, but um, we don't have a load cell on the brake, it is just literally um, you no know, linear sensors on all the pedals, all using the same spring, so they all feel the same. And this is what this accessory is for. It's there to firm up the brake pedal. I mean, you could fit it to any of the pedals, essentially, but, you know, that'd be a waste of time. This is for the brake pedal. And it does look like the assembly you get on the regular SRP pedals with the load cell. It's a very similar looking um, setup since it's using the same type of spring, using the same rubber piece, um, and uh, fits in the same place. So, yeah, it does look like a load cell um, like the load cell on the SRP pedals, but it's not a load cell upgrade. It is simply there to firm up the pedals. You can see there's no electronics here. And uh, it simply attaches to the back of the pedal. It is already pre-drilled, so you don't have to worry about anything else other than fitting in place. It kind of sits on there, like so. And we bolt in the top piece, and then it's gonna do the job. So let me get this assembled, and uh, we'll then get it on track, and I'll give you a uh, you know, I'll give you my assessment of what this is like to use because um, I'm expecting it to be actually quite a nice little upgrade for this pedal. So uh, let's get on with it. So we're all done here. Um, takes five minutes to install, so very easy to do. And uh, here we go. Yeah, a lot stiffer, obviously, than it was previously. So previously, um, the brake was exactly the same as these other pedals. Same amount of travel, same amount of stiffness, and you can see I can um, press the pedal fairly easily with a single finger. But I can't do that now. I need to really get my body weight behind it. Pedal travel is slightly reduced. Um, so you can see that. That's the pedal travel now. Um, obviously, when I'm putting my foot against it, I'll probably able to get a little bit more than that. That's as much as I can push with my hand. So that's what it normally is like. Uh, so if I can get an angle here, but though the perspective might not give a, uh, a good representation of the pedal travel. So that is the clutch closest to the camera. Next one is the brake there. So you can get an idea that it is short to travel, but you know, the throttle on the end looks like it's got the same amount as the brake, simply put because of the perspective. But yeah, I can tell it is uh, slightly short to travel. Um, which is not a bad thing for a brake pedal um, because previously it had very long travel the same as these two other pedals so this puts it more in line with what i would expect to be you know probably more sensible amount of travel on this brake pedal now of course in the moza pit house software you will need to then adjust the um the settings to set the maximum distance for 100 percent braking since we have shortened the pedal travel a little bit and uh, yeah, there you go. So let's get this mounted onto the sim rig and uh, check it out. Okay then, let's get straight to the point. How has this turned out for me? Well, really good, um, excellent in fact. The pedal feels much more like a real brake pedal and beyond that, the increased tension, the much firmer pedal is helping me brake with greater consistency and confidence. And that's because the increased feedback from the stiffer pedal, I'm able to feel the pedal position precisely. It may take more effort to push into the pedal now, but it's a whole lot easier to apply the right amount of braking. I no longer have the vague sensation of the lighter stock brake pedal. Previously, there were occasions when I could misjudge my braking points, the softness of the pedal being the critical factor, either braking too little or too much. If I can't feel what the pedal is doing, it's harder to get it right. But now it's more intuitive and the brake is working much better for me. It's very effective. Motor Racing has gone for a stiff setup with this accessory and I think that is the right way forward. If it wasn't firm enough, it would lack feeling and the improvement would be marginal. So as far as I'm concerned, they've nailed the weight perfectly with this modification. 
These moving parts add friction and this gives texture to the brake and that's a nice bonus. It feels more realistic and I do like that aspect too. I would advise hard mounting the pedals if you use this accessory. Before and after is a substantial difference. If the pedals aren't secured, you'll probably tip them over or slide them on the floor. That's the only negative to consider. Otherwise, I would recommend you get this immediately if you are rocking the SRP light pedals. I would consider this an essential upgrade. When I got on track after installing this, the difference it made for me was instant, and I mean instant, from the very first lap. I could tell immediately my braking inputs were more accurate, and lap after lap, I maintained that consistency. So then, a really great accessory for the Moser Racing SRP light pedals. Just get it. You can thank me later, guys. Uh, but for now, let me end this video and thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel. And don't forget, I post a new video every couple of days. So I'll be back soon with something new. So until next time, happy simming and bye-bye.